Hi, my name is Tom. I'm a freelance uh, web developer. Uh, I'm 19 years old and I started building websites when I was around 16. Um, and this video is uh, is for the other the other freelance web developers um, and uh, expressing the troubles that we face. Um, now, I started building websites when I was 16 years old, um, and uh, it was pretty difficult to get my first client. I couldn't really speak to friends and family about it because no one really needed a website. So I just went on to freelance websites, just scanning and scanning and scanning. And I went to a website called peoplepereour.com. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and after a, about a month or so on that website, uh, someone gave me a break. Um, and at the age of 16, I got my first client. Um, and it was for a London chain of restaurants. And at the age of 16, I sat in a Skype conference call um, with a bunch of executives, which was pretty daunting, if I'm honest. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's where my journey began. But it, it's been slow progress since then. I'm not going to lie to you. you know, if you're going to enter into this business, you've got to have commitment because it's tough and it's a real tough um, environment to work in. Um, and I've had a few clients here, touch and go. Um, you know, some have been good, some have been bad. Um, I've got a couple of websites, I've about four or five websites under my belt by the time I was around 17, 18. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, it's been tough, I'm not going to lie, I've had to have a, uh, a full-time job. Uh, I'm in the office at the moment, actually. Um, I work with my dad. Um, we fix Apple computers, which is handy, you know, because I've got a Mac myself. Um, and I built websites for him, built two for him. Um, so, you know, getting by, uh, but the real ambition is to keep making websites, essentially. Um, and I'm working on it. And I just wanted this video to, to really express and relate to you guys that are struggling. Because I know it's tough, but commitment is a big thing and passion is a very powerful thing. And passion can take you a long way as long as you put commitment into it. You know, passion is fueled by commitment. Um, and I believe that that is the, the, the key to succeeding because that passion, fuel behind it, drives you to continue working, to, con to continue grafting, um, to find results. And I mean, if you really, really want it, you will get the results. And, you know, SEO and marketing is it's a bit of a minefield. And um, it takes a while for us, for, for me anyway, to, to, to get a good grasp of it because essentially I just build websites. But as a web designer, I'm, I'm expected to know how to do SEO, I'm expected to know how to market, and customers will squeeze and squeeze and squeeze you. And uh, sometimes you sit there and you question yourself if it's worth it or not. Um, and that's where your passion really has to shine through because that will push past that. And then when you push that past that point, results start to come. And, uh, and yeah, I just, this is me just thinking out loud essentially. Um, you know, I've just started a brand new freelance website, tomcreative.co.uk, and I'm hoping that this is going to be the platform to really fund my passion. Um, and this is the, the last kind of attempt I'll have to make to, to get this going. Um, but just a quick, I just wanted to have, have a quick word about passion and commitment because it's really important in this industry because if you don't have it, you're not going to cut it. Simple as that, you know. And I'm a big fan of following your dreams and getting out of your comfort zone. Hence why at 16 I'm in a Skype conference call. Um, and essentially I feel like once you get out of your comfort zone, uh, you continue to grow. And you grow as a person, you grow in your character, you grow uh, in your ability to, to sell yourself, essentially. Because you're doing things that you're not used to do, and when you're in an environment that you're not used to, there's a bunch of new things you can learn. Um, and that's what's great about it, being a web designer, because every job is different and you learn and grow in every single job. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make this a short little video 
a vlog, I suppose, um, about the struggles, about what I believe pushes through those struggles. Um, and hopefully, next time I, I, I do a video, um, I'll be able to come back and say, you know, things are looking up, things are, things are going better. And, and, and hopefully we can go on a journey together uh, to develop our business, to develop the way that we work as freelance web designers. Um, so thank you for taking time to listen, um, and uh, I'll see you soon.